the the idea for for a font starts with a daydream that I decide to follow or it just doesn't stop following me. <laughs> Hi, my name is Harald Geisler and this is how I make my new type collection. My creation process is inside and outside of um, the computer and I go back and forth between the two states. Movement is very important to my creation process. Um, I don't know if it brings life to the typeface, but it's very much at the core of how I create typefaces. The 2020 collection is about five experimental designs that I have in mind for a while. A typeface can be a portrait of a person. What I try to do is I try to capture the movement that is characteristic for that person or that reminds me of that person and to use that at the center of the creation process. In 2013, I spent two weeks in Sigmund Freud's apartment in Vienna and studied his penmanship and created a font that renders his handwriting. That character of movement in mind, I like to create an improvisation, dreamlike variation of, of that work. Exchange uppercase and lowercase letters, and I need to find a way to change their shape in a way that they connect to each other which is a change in movement, and that makes it, it very interesting. Um, a quote by Andy Warhol and a song from Miles Davis both go around the notion of, so what? This font I'm excited about because it will take some programming to actually make it work in exactly the way that I want it to work. I wanted to create a, a t-shirt with a neutral typeface. Um, so I was like asking myself the question, like what would be a neutral form? Of course, it's not neutral at all. It's my personal, my neutral. I'm very curious to see what you're going to do with these experimental typefaces. I hope this is inspiring to you. And um, thank you for backing and watching and taking the time. Thanks.